by clicking on this video proves that you have at least one quality needed to reach wealth beyond your imagination. You decided that you deserve more. That's a very important part of developing a wealthy mindset because it proves that you want to attain more knowledge, that you believe in improving yourself before demanding more money in your life. Now I'm going to show you a few techniques you can use to adapt the mindset of the super wealthy and how you can increase your income to however much you desire. When you've decided to become rich and have the income that you desire, you've made a commitment. I'm not talking about dreams or fantasies, I'm talking about commitments and decisions that will allow you to take steps in the right direction. And this is very important. Decisions is the foundation to actions. You watching this video is a step in the right direction of changing your mindset towards money. And once you've decided to become rich, you've taken a step many people haven't, and you're on the way of making your first million or whatever you desire. And it's simple, not easy, but simple. I think this quote from Mike Todd is brilliant as it captures the mindset of a truly wealthy man. He says, I've never been poor, only broke. Being poor is a frame of mind. Being broke is only a temporary situation. And no poor man's situation has ever been cured by money. The only way to cure a poor man is not through money, but through changing his attitude towards money. Some of you might say, this is ridiculous. To change the attitude will not make me any money. And this is the closed poor man's mindset that will never grow wealthy, but would rather spend money on lottery tickets hoping to become a millionaire overnight. And even if they become a multi-millionaire, the odds are heavily stacked against them to keep any of it over the course of five years. And this is because a poor mindset combined with heaps of money will bring financial disaster. They will match their expenses with their new income. However, the money was only given to the ones that will not come back again the next year. Within only a few years, the money are consumed and nowhere to be seen, leaving them more depressed than before. So what separates a poor man's mindset from the wealthy? They don't really know what they want. If you don't know what you want, you will never receive it. Your questions are important because you will get what you ask for. Don't just ask for enough to survive and be well, because that's exactly what you will get. And that's also what most people ask for. F striving for normal, when you can get so much more. Instead of asking for $2,000 to cover your expenses and get by every month, ask for more, much more. Ask for $200,000 and you will be on your way to find a method of receiving that. Let's move on. They avoid to take responsibility for their achievements or failures. They procrastinate. They don't invest in themselves. And they have a limited eager to learn and improve because they think they know everything already. Let's look at a wealthy man's mindset. They know what they want and set clear goals to get it. They take full responsibility for their achievements and failures without blaming anyone else. They get things done, the sooner the better. They always invest in themselves, it can be books, courses, seminars, because they know they will earn that money back many times. They never stop learning because they know they will never reach a limit. They have a growth mindset. Numerous studies have shown that there is one attribute that wealthy people, especially young people, have in common. This attribute is the willingness to take risks. If you rather choose to be broke than to take a risk, choose security over something new and exciting, choose to crawl back to the comfort zone with your mom hey. rather than explore new opportunities, you have a subconscious belief in failure. This is because your brain will choose the strongest option, which in most cases are the safe option, but this is very common and something you can change. So what methods can you use right now to develop a mindset of the super wealthy? Affirmations. To use affirmations is to admit to yourself something you believe in or want to believe in. Affirmations are incredibly important and it's a tool that you can use to improve your financial situation no matter how broke you are. Repeat positive and moving messages to your subconscious to reprogram your brain. When you have two thoughts, your subconscious mind chooses the strongest of them and by repeating something will make your thoughts stronger and easier for your brain to choose. This is also known as the power of suggestion. Powerful affirmation can be, a lot of money is flowing into my life right now, I deserve it and use it to better myself as well as others. Pay attention to the structure of it as it involves key parts for a great affirmation. By stating money is flowing into your life, there is a clear and moving picture of money coming your way. It's easy to imagine this and that's one of the reasons it's so effective and the money is not only used for your own best but also for the better of others. If you think you're lacking creativity to come up with ideas to make money, there are affirmations for that as well. The same principles can be applied here. For example, 
there is no end to the amount of creative ideas that's pouring into my life and will use them to improve my own life as well as others. Repeat these affirmations among others on a consistent basis and fully believe in these principles because they do work. The more vividly you can imagine it, the better results you will get. One of the fundamental concepts of money and income is that the best way to increase your own wealth is by increasing someone else's. Money will be in circulation forever and there are no limits for it. Money is endless. There will always be opportunities for you to make more of it. Wealthy people are well aware of that and that's why they commonly give large sums of money away. If you want more money coming into your life, give more money away. Wealthy people might afford to give it away, but they know that it will only bring them more in return. This is because every penny you give away that will enrich the society around you will come back to you many times over along with a big portion of love. Another thing that hinders people from reaching their desired income is the excuse of timing not being perfect right now. They just need this or that before they can begin and this mindset is absolutely toxic and will only put you in more poverty and debt. Don't wait for it to be perfect because you will wait forever. There is never a better time to start than now. It's not the perfect man that succeeds, but the one who never stops believing. The man who never gives up, no matter the circumstances. That's the man that will achieve success. Do what very few but many wealthy do. Invest in yourself. Your mind is the most valuable asset you have, and improving your knowledge and mindset is absolutely crucial if you want to become wealthy. There are a lot of things you can do to invest in yourself without actually paying for it. Read free books, listen to podcasts on the subject of money, Watch YouTube videos, read forums, the list goes on. Since you will never have enough knowledge, commit to the concept of constant and never-ending improvement. Continue to strive for more and more knowledge. Knowledge! Don't ever think you have reached some limit, because there are no limits. Limits are created by the poor-minded that think they know it all, and then blame society or their boss or anyone else but themselves that they don't earn more money. Use these principles and know that the best time to start adapting a wealthy mindset is right now. It doesn't matter if you barely have any money right now, that should rather be more exciting for you. The less you have to start with, the more impressive your story becomes. I want to end this video with a quote from Leandro Orr. He says, it takes as much imagination to create depth as to create income. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to keep yourself primed. Hey man, are you gonna subscribe to Prime? I'm rolling! Yeah!